funny story i made a video last night and i titled it destroying my computer with this graphics well i had a blue screen of death today when i was trying to update the nvidia graphics driver but yeah long story short we're back um and today is some pretty good news the arctic greenland landscape by maui united from germany is half off and this was actually the next in the line of what i was wanting to get and uh yeah it's half off and it's gonna last i think for three more days so make sure if you're wanting to get this or you've been looking at it go ahead and check it out and it's half off today so we have the map opened already here and as you can see our friendly texture streaming pullover budget is showing up so let's go ahead and take care of that real quick texture streaming let's go ahead and turn that off we got 24 gigs i mean i'm not bragging or anything but we got 24 gigs of vram um, but if you are having issues opening this, uh, if you're getting an error or something, if you're using like an Intel built-in graphics card, change your config settings. If I uh, go right here, and I'll show you real quick. If you go to your content, your project, uh, mine's titled Burn. If you go to config default engine, scroll down. Uh, right here, reflection capture resolution. Now, by default, if you're using a film template, this is, I think, 2048 by default. So just decrease it to 1024. Save it and then open the map to see if you can run it. If you are still getting the out of memory uh, GPU thing, reduce this again to 512. And then if you're still getting an error out of memory when trying to open this map or any map at all in Unreal Engine 4, then just get a new graphics card. I, I can't help you. All right, so here we go. Uh, change the camera speed. And we also have DLSS. I installed because I think I am going to need help here. Granted, it's not as bad as foliage, you know, like trees and stuff. But again, this map looks amazing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and load up the third-person shooter view so we can walk around here in game time or play mode. Go to my projects. I'm going to go to my, my project, which is the third-person config. I'm going to copy the input. And paste that into the input here. Replace. And I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to have to restart. But let's just double check. Input. Axis mapping. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to restart real quick. Looks like we are back. And again, texture streaming pool. I mean, I could have changed this in a default .ini to turn it off. So it doesn't keep bothering us. But. Let's just turn it off again here. All right, so go to Windows. I know we're setting up a lot of stuff here. So world settings, we're gonna change this into a first person game mode. And it looks like it's gonna compile some shaders. And let's see, I have a player start. No, it doesn't. So let's go ahead and drag and drop a player start in there. Where's a good place to start? Probably right here. Okay, and then press play. Right, now we're rocking. That looks good, but are we in cinematic though? Let's go to settings. Ah, we're not. Crank that up. I'm not playing around here. Sure, epic. Turn it all. Turn it all on. Oh, hopefully that ain't crash. Let's have our FPS. And good lord, I'm not getting good FPS here. So, I'm going to turn on DLSS. Let's do a performance. Yeah, we'll try to get 29 performance. Let's see what this looks like. It's crazy. This looks so nice. Uh, last thing, we're going to go to the blueprint and we'll turn on DLSS here. Let's turn on to ultra performance. See how that does. And then I'll do the DLSS sharpness as well. Which I point to should be good. Compile and save. All right, compile and save. All right, press F11, and here we are. I'm going to try not to do a lot of high movements because that was making a lot of people dizzy from my previous video. But as you can see, I think those dots, I think those are coming from the... Uh, DLSS. 
But look at this. Absolutely beautiful. And like I said, I'm not going to do a lot of sharp turns. We're getting about 30. Okay, so depending on which way we're facing, <laughs> look at my FPS. I'm at 24 right now because I'm facing this really nice detailed ice. If I look away, I'm getting 120. So let's go walk around. But yeah, some pretty cool puddles here as well. I think he's updating this map too. All right, let's go to this creepy cave. You know what? I was, oh man, we actually do have a short for a creepy cave like this. That's perfect. That's awesome that he put that on here. I've been looking for a cave entrance of some sort. And it looks like this is a sharp edge there. That looks kind of weird. Probably just going to flatten that out whenever I use this for a short. But let me see if I can get rid of those dots. I'm going to go back to the level blueprint. And let's change this to balance and compile save press play yeah this thing is like high quality this this has got to be the block of ice that's just killing my fps right now but that just looks so nice right um let's go back to the cave this is so cool i wonder if he uses mega scans i think he said he scans them himself I don't think he uses mega scans. This is probably all his scans. Yeah, that could, my computer does not like that area. All right. So yeah, we'll fix that. That's an easy fix. Let's see what's inside here. And yeah, pretty good FPS inside here. Oh, we've got a snow as well. Let me turn right. This is cool, man. This is like... This environment is so cool. I'm going to get lost in here. Just hope nothing pops up. But yeah, uh-oh, here we go. And I think this is one of his oldest models as well. It's not even new. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Make sure I don't fall down. This is so cool. Oh boy. We're taking a hit. We're taking a hit. Okay, this map is massive. I mean, it's huge. Let's go back in here. Um, oh, not gonna die. There's no life in this one. But yeah. Half off right now, guys, in three days. Oh, man. It blows my mind that this is just a guy creating, like, these amazing environments. He's doing it all. Pretty impressive stuff. And I think he has, he has, maybe he has, like, a small team, but this is high-quality models here. And we can definitely use this for a short. I'm not getting in that water. That looks cold. So this is a DLSS performance. No, yeah, no, it's not performance. I think I checked it to balance. This is balance. I'm getting lost. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back to the front. But um, let's take a look at how massive this freaking map is. Look at this thing. I'm gonna increase my camera speed to like seven, so you can really see it i mean you can even do some fly throughs here it's some wide shots of you flying or something this is so cool i mean one of my probably favorite countries i've ever visited when i was in europe was iceland and i know this is supposed to be arctic greenland but this reminds me of Iceland so bad, and it's making me miss it. Oh, good lord, 16 FPS. It's got to be this big rock that's killing my computer right now. It's got to be, because look at this. That looks amazing. Ooh, he just kind of dove down there. So he has, like, a fully underwater, too, which is insane. Yeah, this this lake reminds me of the lake in Iceland. I think it's called Jokur, Jokursarlon, which was... Probably one of the coolest things I have 
ever seen as far as plays go. And that's why I wanted this map so bad. But yeah, if you guys want to check this out, it is half off right now, I think, for like $60 in the Epic Marketplace. And look at that. <laughs> but yeah, um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. And I'm hoping I don't get a blue screen of death again. <laughs>